In linear algebra, a QR decomposition of a matrix is a decomposition of a matrix A into a product A equals QR of an orthogonal matrix Q and an upper triangular matrix R. QR decomposition is often used to solve the linear least squares problem, and is the basis for a particular eigenvalue algorithm, the QR algorithm. Cases and definitions Square matrix Any real square matrix A may be decomposed as where Q is an orthogonal matrix and R is an upper triangular matrix. If A is invertible, then the factorization is unique if we require that the diagonal elements of R be positive. If instead A is a complex square matrix, then there is a decomposition A equals QR where Q is a unitary matrix. If A has n linearly independent columns, then the first n columns of Q form an orthonormal basis for the column space of A. More generally, the first k columns of Q form an orthonormal basis for the span of the first k columns of A for any one k n. The fact that any column k of A only depends on the first k columns of Q is responsible for the triangular form of R. Rectangular matrix More generally, we can factor a complex m times n matrix A, with m n, as the product of an m times m unitary matrix Q and an m times n upper triangular matrix R, as the bottom rows of an m times n upper triangular matrix consist entirely of zeros. It is often useful to partition R, or both R and Q where R1 is an n times n upper triangular matrix, 0 is n times n 0 matrix, Q1 is m times n, Q2 is m times, and Q1 and Q2 both have orthogonal columns. Golub and Van Loan call Q1 and R1 the thin QR factorization of A, Trefthen and Bal call this the reduced QR factorization. If A is of full rank N and we require that the diagonal elements of R1 are positive then R1 and Q1 are unique, but in general Q2 is not. R1 is then equal to the upper triangular factor of the Koleski decomposition of A asterisk A, QL, RQ and LQ decompositions analogously, we can define QL, RQ, and LQ decompositions, with L being a lower triangular matrix. Computing the QR decomposition There are several methods for actually computing the QR decomposition, such as by means of the Gram-Schmidt process, household transformations, or Givens rotations. Each has a number of advantages and disadvantages. Using the Gram-Schmidt process Consider the Gram-Schmidt process applied to the columns of the full column rank matrix within a product. Define the projection. Then, we can now express the S over a newly computed orthonormal basis, where, this can be written in matrix form, where, example, consider the decomposition of recall that an orthonormal matrix has the property then, we can calculate by means of Gram-Schmidt as follows, thus, we have relation to RQ decomposition. The RQ decomposition transforms the matrix A into the product of an upper triangular matrix R and an orthogonal matrix Q. The only difference from QR decomposition is the order of these matrices. QR decomposition is Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization of columns of A, started from the first column. RQ decomposition is Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization of rows of A, started from the last row. Using householder reflections A householder reflection is a transformation that takes a vector and reflects it about some plane or hyperplane. We can use this operation to calculate the QR factorization of an M by N matrix with MN. Q can be used to reflect a vector in such a way that all coordinates but one disappear. Let be an arbitrary real m-dimensional column vector of such that for a scalar alpha, if the algorithm is implemented using floating-point arithmetic, then alpha should get the opposite sign as the kth coordinate of, where is to be the pivot coordinate after which all entries are zero in matrix A's final upper triangular form, to avoid loss of significance. 
In the complex case, set and substitute transposition by conjugate transposition in the construction of Q below. Then, where is the vector T? Is the Euclidean norm and is an M by M identity matrix, set or, if is complex, where where is the conjugate transpose of is an M by M householder matrix and this can be used to gradually transform an M by N matrix A to upper triangular form. First, we multiply A with the householder matrix Q1 we obtain when we choose the first matrix column for X. This results in a matrix Q1A with zeros in the left column. This can be repeated for A, resulting in a householder matrix Q2. Note that Q2 is smaller than Q1. Since we want it really to operate on Q1A instead of A, we need to expand it to the upper left filling in a 1, or in general. After iterations of this process, is an upper triangular matrix. So, with is a QR decomposition of, this method has greater numerical stability than the Gram-Schmidt method above. The following table gives the number of operations in the KTH step of the QR decomposition by the household transformation. Assuming a square matrix with size n, summing these numbers over the n-1 steps, the complexity of the algorithm is given by example let us calculate the decomposition of first. We need to find a reflection that transforms the first column of matrix A, vector, into now, and here, and therefore in, and then now observe. So we already have almost a triangular matrix. We only need to zero the entry, take the minor, and then apply the process again to by the same method as above. We obtain the matrix of the household transformation after performing a direct sum with one to make sure the next step in the process works properly. Now, we find that the matrix Q is orthogonal and R is upper triangular, so A equals QR is the required QR decomposition. Using Givens rotations QR decompositions can also be computed with a series of Givens rotations. Each rotation zeroes an element in the subdiagonal of the matrix, forming the R matrix. The concatenation of all the Givens rotations forms the orthogonal Q matrix. In practice, Givens rotations are not actually performed by building a whole matrix and doing a matrix multiplication. A Givens rotation procedure is used instead which does the equivalent of the sparse Givens matrix multiplication, without the extra work of handling the sparse elements. The Givens rotation procedure is useful in situations where only a relatively few off-diagonal elements need to be zeroed, and is more easily parallelized than householder transformations. Example Let us calculate the decomposition of first. We need to form a rotation matrix that will zero the lowermost left element. We form this matrix using the Givens rotation method, and call the matrix. We will first rotate the vector to point along the x-axis. This vector has an angle. We create the orthogonal Givens rotation matrix, and the result of now has a zero in the element. We can similarly form Givens matrices in, which will zero the subdiagonal elements and forming a triangular matrix. The orthogonal matrix is formed from the concatenation of all the Givens matrices. Thus, we have, and the QR decomposition is, connection to a determinant or a product of eigenvalues. We can use QR decomposition to find the absolute value of the determinant of a square matrix. Suppose a matrix is decomposed as, then we have since Q is unitary. Thus, where are the entries on the diagonal of R? Furthermore, because the determinant equals the product of the eigenvalues, we have where are eigenvalues of. We can extend the above properties to non-square complex matrix by introducing the definition of QR decomposition for non-square complex matrix and replacing eigenvalues with singular values. Suppose a QR decomposition for a non-square matrix A, where is a zero matrix and is a unitary matrix. 
From the properties of SVD and determinant of matrix, we have where are singular values of. Note that the singular values of an are identical, although their complex eigenvalues may be different. However, if A is square, the following is true. In conclusion, QR decomposition can be used efficiently to calculate the product of the eigenvalues or singular values of a matrix. Column pivoting QR decomposition with column pivoting introduces a permutation matrix P. Column pivoting is useful when A is rank deficient, or is suspected of being so. It can also improve numerical accuracy. P is usually chosen so that the diagonal elements of R are non-increasing. This can be used to find the rank of A at lower computational cost than a singular value decomposition, forming the basis of so-called rank-revealing QR algorithms, using for solution to linear inverse problems, compared to the direct matrix inverse. Inverse solutions using QR decomposition are more numerically stable as evidenced by their reduced condition numbers, Parker. Geophysical Inverse Theory, CH 1.13, to solve the underdetermined, and R has a special form. Here is a square right triangular matrix, and the zero matrix has dimension. After some algebra, it can be shown that a solution to the inverse problem can be expressed as where one may either find by Gaussian elimination or compute directly by forward substitution. The latter technique enjoys greater numerical accuracy and lower computations. To find a solution to the overdetermined generalizations, Iwisawa decomposition generalizes QR decomposition to semi-simple Lie groups.